Well, I've just found out that this is a Mon village. Uh, the people here are of the Mon tribe. Uh, I've walked up, well, I parked the car and walked up to see what was going on. And they're actually skinning, uh, taking all the hair off uh, a pig, uh, a dead pig. And uh, they're preparing the pig and also some chickens. Uh, they're having a celebration. There's some ringing of bells in the background, some ching, 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 and some mournful music. And I asked the guy there, and, and I had to get the translation going through a telephone call with Dai. Thanks very much, Dai. But uh, this is a ceremony or a, a, uh, an event that they're having here called a pity. Uh, and it's a bit like the word, actually, in English, pity. Uh, P I. Why? And the event is all about an old person that's in this house. They're not well. And the Mon people believe that if they hold a ceremony to wish well, to give good health and improve the spirits, then the person will get better. And it's a pity party. Isn't that lovely? tribal museum area over the other side of Chiang Mai and I'll leave a link above to the uh, buildings that you could see there and a little bit of the story about some of the uh, hill tribes and uh, you'll see there a bit of more about the Mon people. My gang could talk up my gang there. Thank you. So we've got 20, 20 in this block. We've got 30 rows across, and we've got a hundred. Uh, we've got f 15. Uh, lots of 20 down here. That's a lot of calculation. Let me just go away and work on that. Well, that was pretty painful. So there's 20 by 30 by 15. There's 9,000 plants here. And that's just in this little square here. <laughs> there's more over there. And they're cultivating even more ground over there. So um, yeah, just here, 9,000 plants. That's a lot of strawberries. And when you think, uh, you know, when you go out into these places down into the valley, you see uh, farms just like this, 
uh, with thousands upon thousands of strawberry plants. Just think how many thousands there are there. No wonder we've got so many strawberries growing and being sold here in the festival period next month. I'm enjoying the coffee at this coffee shop um, in this in this ambience that we've got here. It's very pleasant actually. It's very nice. I had to take my top off because um, it's so nice in the sun. You warm up and it's too hot. I certainly needed my jacket this morning. Anyway, I'm going to press on and show you some of the other sites just along the Samoong Road. Welcome to the Samoong Centre. This is uh, pretty high class actually. This is uh, a really five star place. This is the, I think it's the third time I've been here. And I've always gone away thinking, oh, disappointing. Because I wanted a canom, I wanted a coffee, and I wasn't happy at the end of the day. But I'm hoping today to give them another chance to see as to whether today's a little bit better result of the coffee. It's a fantastic looking place. Look at this beautiful and when you see some of the images the colors it makes you think wow this has got to be something special and it really is it really is a lovely place it's a it's a dream resort stay non cap ta 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 pak ti ni hong le hong le gi ba ka Wow, very good, thank you. Cop my cup. Okay, cap, cop my cup. What a lovely place this is. I'm going to take my shoes off out of respect for the building because it's very, very nice. It's also offering a meeting facility here, and you've got these tables for groups of people to sit and some wonderful architecture around here look at this place very very nice Well, a new word for me today, another one. I'm learning all the time. Uh, this is uh, the onsen area. Now, onsen is uh, a Japanese term for hot spring. So in these two rooms, I believe, there are there at the back, uh, there are onsen available for people who want to come and enjoy the wonderful ambience here, the wonderful feeling of this spa it's it is that it's a spa resort uh, you can enjoy the onsen uh, hot spring behind you can come here and have the massage and enjoy a relaxing bathe in the pool at the front the ambience here uh, you know the fives all around you've got uh, you know peace and quiet you've got lovely trees lovely surrounding you've got the colors you've got the atmosphere here you've got the look of the uh, the pool and the buildings behind the, the massage parlor the area where you'd have a, a massage if you come here you can stay for 2800 a night and you get two hours free massage how about that mm. delightful coffee um, coffee 60 baht now 60 out in the country actually is a bit expensive 
but it reflects the quality of the place, the ambience of the place that you're in. So it's upmarket. So therefore, this coffee shop out in Simone, upmarket, it is top notch. It's five star. Brilliant. <laughs> the welcome you get by the staff is okay. And uh, the NALAC, you can walk around here taking your photographs against backdrops of interesting uh, features of this very, very attractive place. So, um, yeah, all the fives. down here to show you from the ground what I saw from above and that is these wonderful golden fields look at them so beautiful this is the rice now in full bloom well this is a gorgeous sight to see all of this rice so ripe absolutely beautiful they've started to harvest it down the way there and you can see the uh, the bundles uh, being put together and they're collecting them. I've shown you the valley, I've shown you the mountains. I've shown you a little bit of a, a five-star coffee uh, shop, the onsen and the pool there and the massage centre uh, at the Samung Centre. I've shown you so much interesting stuff out here in Samum, yet I've literally just touched the surface. If you, if you come to Samum uh, and you drive along the road, you find so many fascinating little things to find along the road that you might not have time to actually enjoy Samum itself. If you come to actually into Samum, there are many things in this valley of interest. and. I'll be doing another video about Samoon because I don't want to just whiz out from A to B and then B to A. I don't want to just come out to Samoon and show you the beauty of having got here. I actually want to show you the beauty of getting here and when you're here, what it's really like. So, uh, yeah. This will be another series I'll, uh, of other videos I'll be making about Samoon. So, welcome to number one of Samoon. Anyway, take care. Thanks for watching this one, and I hope to see you in the next video. Check out uh, my playlist of coffee shops, of uh, aerial 
video that I make and uh, general uh, videos I make about being an expat here in Thailand. Anyway, take care. See you. Bye-bye.